Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0. And today is day 60. So today we're continuing our training in the consumer applet. We're going to go slightly in a different direction today where we're going to talk about team sites. So agents now have the ability, those that are on a team or have a team, to create their own team version of agent sites and create some custom pages there. So today we're gonna to talk about setting up your team marketing profile and claiming your domain. And then tomorrow we'll get into some of the pages like meet my team, etc. So first things first, on the screen you can see a little bit different of an account. This is a pro coach account we use for our Austin Teamridge. Um, note that you do have to have a team account in order to create a team site. So first thing we're gonna do is come over to our drop down and make sure that we're in the team account. And from there, we'll click on that drop down one more time and we'll go into our settings menu. While in the settings menu, we're gonna to wanna to come to the connect settings and select the marketing profile. Now I've already gone through and completed all of the information required in our team marketing profile. But if it's, this is the first time you're seeing this, you are gonna to wanna to come through and look for anything with an asterisk, which is required and then highly recommend that you fill in all the additional information as well. So you're gonna see your team logo is required. Um, then you've got your team name, slogan, any credentials. If you've got military affiliation for you or your team members, bio, office phone, email, market center logo, and then all of your market center information. And then we've got forced registration. We'll talk about that. I think we talked about that already, but um, we'll touch on that in just a second. And then you can see compliance, legal footers, and social. So make sure you get with your broker and make sure all of this is set up legit. Once you have this marketing profile completed and it's time to update your subdomain, you should get a message that looks like, and let's see if we can get it to pop up again. Give me one second. We'll switch to personal. We'll switch back to team. And there you go. So you can see once you complete this marketing profile, it does take anywhere from two to 24 hours to update before you can get into the manage my team section. Now you can see this section is available now that the marketing profile is complete. However, I can't do anything with it. So what you're going to want to do is come back anywhere from two to 24 hours later and check and see if this is clickable. And when it does, you can get into the process of claiming your subdomain or transferring your subdomain. So we're gonna show you what that looks like. It's like one of those cooking shows where they put the pizza in and they immediately take it out. So we're gonna go into our Pro Coach C account, which I worked on before the weekend and the marketing profile is already set up. We're gonna go into the settings menu one more time. So this might be you coming back tomorrow after you've set up your team account profile and go into connect settings, marketing profile, and you can see now we've got the manage my team site. We have two options, update subdomain or transfer subdomain. Now this has always been a team site for our team merge, but we were operating it out of the personal because sites weren't teamified. So we already had a personal subdomain, kwaustin.kw.com. We're gonna go ahead and choose to transfer that subdomain. If for any reason you want a brand new one, you can come in and choose a brand new agent site subdomain here. So for us, we're just gonna click on start subdomain transfer. It'll say enter a new subdomain for your individual account, right? So by selecting transfer and claim, you will now have the desired subdomain for your team account, as well as a new subdomain for your individual account. So obviously you can't have the same subdomain for both team and personal. So we're gonna go ahead and just change KW Austin and one for the personal and that should claim our team site. KW Austin is now your team subdomain. So you can see it changed our personal to KW Austin one and our team is now KW Austin. I can click on close and from here I can click on edit my team sites and now we're going to go back into a screen that we're all very familiar with but you can see now we are actually in the team site. So if you ever want to make sure you're in the right place, you can always just click on your drop down here and make sure that you are in your team subdomain working on your team site. So tomorrow we're going to dive into some additional pages that we can build out. Spoiler alert, you might have already seen it down here, the meet the team page. 
we'll show you how to build that out and take a look at some other nuances and differences inside of your team site. As always, I hope everyone's doing very, very good, and I will look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Thanks so much.